On the racetrack, Whitmore never shied away from the spotlight or from a challenge. They're all in line. They're off in the Kentucky Derby. As a three-year-old in 2016, he was part of the field for the Kentucky Derby won by Nyquist. Victor Espinosa is down on the rail with Whitmore. They're four and a half lengths off the lead. And Nyquist is still unbeaten. He has won the Kentucky Derby. Then, they're off in the Breeders' Cup Sprint. In 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020, he ran in the Breeders' Cup Sprint, coming through with the win in 2020 at Keeneland in an 18 to one upset at the age of seven. It was the first Breeders' Cup victory for his trainer, Ron Moquet. As they arrive into the final furlong, Empire of Gold, here's Whitmore running after him on the outside. Whitmore has taken the lead. CZ Rocket on the outside, up into second late, but the old man's gonna do it. It's Whitmore in the Breeders' Cup Sprint. He won it by about five in the end. So, when Whitmore retired in August 2021, after 43 races, 15 wins, seven in graded stakes, and $4.5 million in career earnings, it made sense that the chestnut gelding and his connections wouldn't shy away from the spotlight or from a challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, an Oak Lawn legend, the one, the only, Whitmore. Whitmore was back at Oak Lawn Park in Arkansas on March 19, 2022, to lead the post parade for the Whitmore Stakes, named in his honor, a race he won four times from 2017 to 2020, when it was known as the Hot Springs Stakes. There's a wonderful documentary that just came out produced by Oaklawn Park where Whitmore had some of his greatest successes and it tells the story of this wonderful horse. Just the name alone, Whitmore, learning that it was from Wilbur Whitmore, yes. who was a multi-sport star. Okay. So you probably knew right away that this horse was going to do multiple sports, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I was hoping that we could just get him to just turn left around the racetrack <laughs> when we first started with him. But as he got older, he got a little easier to deal with and then he's a gelding we're gonna have to have another plan so well, we decided is, to uh try another another tactic here well this is laura moquette and even just turning left wasn't exactly the easiest thing to no. get him to do right <laughs> not at all or straight or to the right <laughs> either any of the directions was difficult <laughs> so yeah i mean knowing him from the very beginning what was his temperament like because you got to be on his back. Um, very violent and violent. defensive. Okay. And um, uh, it was fearful, but then aggressive to like defend himself. So it was, it was an interesting challenge. How did you then get him to be able to do the, the things he do um, in, in the sense of um, a really talented athlete is never yeah, going to be easy. Right. Uh, but what were some of the techniques on the track that then got him to be like, yep, we're going to go do that. Well, he stayed with the pony for probably 60 days attached to the pony. And then all we worked on was just going forward when I asked and to let him figure out what I was asking. Because as soon as you'd ask him to go forward, he'd have, you know, a list of 30 things that he would do to make you quit. Because if, <laughs> if a previous per, a previous rider, you know, maybe when he was young, younger, he was two when we got him, maybe if he did all of his wheeling, rearing, bucking, all... You stop asking to go forward and you hang on to not fall off. And he was like, okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I had to wait through all of that, still ask him to go forward while he was doing all of that until he took one step forward, then relax. And then he was like, okay. So then he went through 29 things before he tried to step forward, then 25, then 20, then all the way down to like, that was his first answer. But it took a long time to get when you just asked him to walk forward to that be his answer. And then you could trot and then you could gallop. So forward is the answer. Yeah, always. <laughs> and now we'll fast forward, and yeah. the fast forward takes us through now four we... Breeders' Cups, 2020 yeah. Breeders' Cup Sprint win, Eclipse Award champion male. All right, um, time to just kind of rest on, no, not exactly, no. no. What, what? He doesn't rest well, as you can tell. <laughs> He's a guy that needs a job all the time. So what job did you give him um, um, when, when it was like, all right, racing is done. What plan did you put in place? Well, he had to recover from his surgery he, when he got injured. And then uh, he came down to Oaklawn Park last December 15th was about the time where we could theoretically start working him. 
And we were just so busy that I couldn't really do much with them except just work in the round pen. Okay, goodness. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> uh, I think this is the candy, Ray. <laughs> this is what? Yeah, Ray fed him a few candies earlier. Oh, I think that, he's begging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's not a big deal. <laughs> but you, so you were working him on the track for, off the track, essentially. You, you started working with him back at Oaklawn last December? Well, I, I didn't really have much time. I might have worked him on the ground in the round pen maybe a few times. I okay. took him for a couple rides. But I didn't really have time to start him until he got up here, which I couldn't ship him up here until after Derby. So it was like end of May, um, beginning of June. Well, no, I think it was middle of May when we got here before we actually started act, you know, being able to get on him and ride him. And how has it gone? Actually... Doesn't look like it right now, but he's been really cool and quiet. <laughs> no, to be fair, and, and we'll kind of wrap up with this oh, message. So the bad. really good ones, they have a lot in there. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and, uh, and it's awesome to be able to see, all right, th this this is Whitmore. And, and, he knows uh, he's here and everybody wants to see him and he's just showing off like crazy all day. The good ones do that. Well, mm -hmm. we look forward to seeing okay. you show off um, this week at, at the thoroughbred well, makeover can... and uh, we're best gonna wishes. We're going to stay at a walk. That's what I keep telling him. We're walking only. <laughs> but walking forward at least. Yes, yes, forward and walking. I swear he knows the camera's on him. He like looked over at you. Yeah, I saw. He did that at the track all the time. There'd be people on the outside rail and he'd like to make eye contact. <laughs> He's like, I see you. Uh -huh. Here, here's my good angle. <laughs> yeah.